Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Joe Corbis here with the Dream Homes team, and we are here, Frederick Rowe with Goosehead Insurance. Hello. We'll be talking about a really hot topic, which is insurance. Here, insurance in California has been a huge issue in the last couple of years. A lot of really, really big names that left and fled away from California due to, I guess, poor performance. They've been losing money, right? Yes, correct. So that's one of the things we shot several videos. Today, I'm going to be asking uh, Frederick a really important question. What would you recommend a homeowner insuring on top of the basic owner insurance policy, and why? It's a good question, Joe. So the way the policy is built is we look at what's called the replacement cost estimate. So it's not the market value. Forget about the market value of your home. It's hard because the value of the moon is San Diego and around, but forget about that, forget about the land. What we are looking at is how much it would cost today to rebuild your home as it is. So it's mostly indexed on construction material cost, pretty much. Uh, the second criteria is the quality of your materials. So if you have yes. a laminate floor, it costs less than a right. laminate floor. Okay. So based on that, that's that's the key amount of money that we're going to provision into your policy. Now, as you've been uh, seeing that for the past two years now, the construction cost is just going with your view, right? It's, it's, so, but basically, if you look at the past three years, it went up by 25 to 36 percent. That's right. Right. Yes. So, a policy that you write today with, by example, 800k on reconstruction costs won't be as accurate in three, years, in three years from now. So, you have to keep that. So, there is ways to extend the base budget or your re reconstruction cost, sorry, and it's for extended replacement cost. And it's an extension of either 25 or 50 percent of that base budget. That should keep you safe. So there would be even at a lot of 25, 50 percent on the base Correct. that you agree upon. Correct. Okay. But, but you know, I have a question that comes to mind. So you insure the property for one year. Let's say uh, we have another unprecedented situation going on. So the cost of uh, building materials is going to go up 25, 30 yes. percent. Now. When I go renew the, pro the the insurance, let's say next year, and the price is going up 25, 30%, how do I know if I am in the right realm of, uh, of coverage? Call your agent. He will, he will look it, into it for you and he will check the current reconstruction cost estimate of your place. Oh. Some policy can have what's called inflation guard inside, so which is like four, five, six, seven percent of the of your replacement cost year over year without doing anything. Mm -hmm. So your, the premium is going to go up, of course, but at least the coverage is more like uh, actual and realistic. Otherwise, every every three years maximum, call your agent, if you do policy with it, make sure you're still in good standing and that you will have enough money from your insurance policy to repeat your home if needed. Got it. And now another question still comes to mind. We've got all those floods happening in San Diego, which is unprecedented. I mean, yeah. the, the flood map, map actually, uh, in every 100 years, it seems like it's, uh, yes. it's readjusting. So now that we've got all this flood, would you recommend to have an add-on of flood insurance or maybe fire insurance or earthquake insurance? What would you recommend yes. to add it on? So earthquake would be one of my recommendations. It's not that it, we don't have earthquake every day, but again, it's California after all. So earthquake would, I think, should be considered by your uh, by customer. Flood, of course. So flood can either be required by the lender if your home is already in a flood prone zone. So there is a lot of classification. But basically, you're going to see a big adjustment now. You're going to, I think it's going to change Absolutely. soon. Uh, so flood will be one of them. Uh, the last re recommendation to me is people tend to forget how, how much value they have in their home. Mm -hmm. Like you have a, a piano, or you have a high piece of art, or if you have a high piece of electronic whatsoever. Those personal belongings are mostly covered poorly by a regular homeowner policy. My rule of thumb is if you have any, any item that is worth more than $2,500, you should insure it at its true value. 
So that would be something that I would recommend as well because a lot of customers, again, tend to not believe in the values that they have in their home. So just to recap, we're going to have earthquake, flood insurance, and possibly, um, how would you call that type of insurance? What is your personal life? It's, it's called a, a specialized personal property. Personal property, specialized yes. personal property. Yes. Those are great tips. Thank you so much. Exactly. Thank you so much for watching this video. To discover more, this is, uh, again, uh, Frederick Roll with Goose Head Insurance. My name is Joe Corbisiero. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.